without power, really the one can lead up to without change, and by his coming, he shall let upon us, upon those of us who are sitting in the shadow and darkness of death, he set our feet upon the path of peace, to the victory of holy wisdom, praying for us, O Holy One. Which he took from the sanctuary, he who is good of God became the creator of you, and you are brought up to his father in seventy cents and process offerings. We thank you for us, O Holy One. O Holy Virgin Mary, pray for us. You are the light of the world, 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 you are the light of the world. On the great chariot, which is guided by the cherubim and the seraphim, what a fashion of the flame of fire, what of the seraphim, the visitor of heaven, and set before in the sanctuary, blessed are the one of women, the Holy Spirit shall come unto thee, and the poor of the high shall wash out thee, for he who dwelt above the cherubim shall become a light of all the world. We trust your way, what is good of you have all for the good of God, and no other sweet spirit of love, which has brought up on the root of Jesse, breathing for us a whole world.
peace of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and the love of our Lady Mary, the Virgin Saint Mary, Mother of God, and the glory of the cross and the precious love of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Be not far from us, from me and all of you, to our Lord, to our ages.
page 19 in the Bible of Jesus, tell you to small.
had covered us and succored us. He had kept us and brought us nigh, received us unto himself, and undertaken our defense and strengthened us and brought us unto the soul. Let us therefore pray him that the Almighty Lord our God keep us in this holy day and all the days of our lives in all peace. Pray. Master Lord God Almighty, the Father of our Lord and our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ, we render thee thanks upon everything, for everything and in everything. For thou hast covered us and succored us, has kept us and brought us nigh and received us unto thyself, and undertaken our defense and strengthen us and brought us unto the soul. Oh, so 
for which no man can officiate at the altar. For it is evident that our Lord arose from Judah, of which tribe Moses speak nothing concerning pieces. And it is yet far more evident in the likeness of Melchizedek, there arrived another priest who has come not according to the law of the fleshly commandments, but according to the power of an endless life, for he testifies. You are a priest forever, according to in the order of Melchizedek. For on the one hand, there is a knowledge of the former commandment, because of the weakness and unprofitableness, unprofitableness. For the law made nothing perfect on the other hand. There is the bringing in of a better hope, to which we draw near to God. And as, and as much as you were not made peace with other gods, for they have become peace with other gods, but he with and all by him who said to him, The Lord has sworn and will not relent. You are a priest ever, according to all the commandments of By so much more, Jesus has become a shepherd of a better covenant. Also, there were many priests, because they were prevented by death from continuing. But he, because he continued forever, has an unchangeable position. Therefore, he is also able to save the other much those who come to God to him, since all of them to make intercession for them. For such a high priest was fitting for us, who is holy, harmless, only fire, separate from sinners, and become higher than the heavens, who does not need daily as those high priests, to offer sacrifices first for his own sins and then for the people. For this he did once for all when he offered of himself. For the Lord appoints as high priest men who have weakness, but the word of God, which can have fellow, appoints the Son who has been perfected forever. Amen. The blessing of the Father, the love of the Son, and the gift of the Holy Spirit who came down upon the apostles in the upper room from Isaiah, and that shall come down by the family of you. Holy Apostle for the Messenger, he will bless it, who had received the crown, ask and pray for us in order that he may save our souls, and the multitude of us will see that it is pity for his holy name, say. Seeing thou 
how faith wrought with his works, and he by works was faith made perfect. And the scripture was fulfilled with sin. Abraham believed God, and he was imputed unto him for righteousness, and he was called the friend of God. You see then now how that by works a man is justified, and not by faith only. Likewise also was not Rahab the harlot justified by works, when he, she had received the messengers, and had sent them out another way. For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. Resting at verse 26. Amen. Oh my brethren of the Lord, let us be gentle, for the Holy Ghost of the Lord, all is passing. Holy God, son, son, son.
fragrant and all chosen incense in whom she bear came and saved us.
Grant wisdom to the foolish to restore the lost save the prisoners, and be a refuge to all of us for thy is a blessed kingdom, O Lord our God. Amen. For the gospel and the reading of the gospel. And when 
thy spirit. Glory be to thee, Christ my Lord and my God at all times. Sing aloud unto God our strength. Take his psalm and bring hither the trimrel, the pleasant harp with the soul tree. Thank you, Lord. 
and set upon them the grace of the Holy Spirit, and make the doors of thy holy church open unto us in mercy and in faith, and perfect unto us the faith of the Holy Trinity unto our little birth. O my Lord Jesus Christ, visit the sick of thy people, heal them and guide our fathers and our brethren who are born forth and become strangers, bring them back to the dwelling place in peace and in heaven. And may grace and may joy and gladness be made perpetually on the face of the earth, and establish for us thy peace. Turn the hearts of mighty kings to deal kindly with our fathers. Grant peace to the scholars of the church, who are continually guided in thy holy church, to all and to each by their several names, in the presence of powerful kings, who are God in peace thy peace. Bless the soul of our fathers and our brothers and our sisters. For affording us to find dangerous in the right place, and bless those who give gifts of incense, and bread, and wine, and ointment, and oil, and honey, and wheat, and milk, and bread for the sanctuary, that Christ our Lord may give them the reward in our new Jerusalem, and all that God has separated us to a treat for mercy. Christ our Lord, have mercy upon them, and all that God give us. And comfort and restrain the souls, them that are in chains, them that are in exile or captivity, and them that are held in bitter servitude of God, deliver them in thy mercy, and all them that have been trusted with us to remember them at our supplication to thee. O oh, Master Jesus Christ, remember them in thy heavenly kingdom, and remember me, thy sinful servant. O oh, Lord, To these and to all who run the rest of their souls and have mercy upon them, thy son who thou descend from heaven to the womb of a virgin who was conceived in a womb, and was made flesh, and thy son became known by the Holy Spirit. He has the state, stand up. Yes, stand before thee thousand, thousand, and ten thousand times ten thousand, and the holy angels and archangels and thy honorable beasts, each with six wings. Look to thee. Give it to his 
Be glory and dominion, both now and ever, and world without end. Amen. Holy days for the Holy. God is the Holy Father, God is the Holy Son, God is the Holy Spirit. The Lord.
Page 52 in the Big Digit 120 in your small Santa 129. O eternal God, right of life, thou hast given Lord unto us thy silver and strength and protection during the present days and night, keeping all in peace. Bless them on the day that now is and of those that shall be hereafter. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, to whom to be with him over the Holy Spirit, be glory and dominion both now and ever.
Besar, Buel, Roman Transkidu, Sahron, Lak, Amin Pleasant morning to our apostle and our archbishop His Grace of Unacadius, Archman Drive, Abba and Mikhail All our fathers and brothers and sisters welcome to our divine liturgy this morning We pray that God has kept you in good health and strength continue to bless you and your families in this time that we are facing but we are not hopeless people we have to continue rejoicing and giving thanks to our Lord for his mercy and his compassion no matter what is going on around us yet his angels is protecting us which he had appointed for us one by day and one by night to protect us from all evil is only for us to keep in our way do what is good do what is right and what is expedient of us and what is our responsibility let us continue praising our God and being responsible people in this time this morning we like to introduce the priest in charge of Menani and M Parish Aruka to bring this message this morning, Kes Heidi Selassie Jr. Please welcome him.
for us to attain inward grace, to help strengthen our will, to fulfill the will of God. We know in our own lives how difficult it is for us to live according to the calling that which we were called through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Because we was living a life of sin and pleasure. And this is not bad because this is how we enjoy the material things. But it must not control our mind and our soul. And this is why the sacraments are here to help us to heal ourselves from sin by strengthening our will to fulfill the will of God. You see in Hebrews, from chapter 5, um, chapter 7, from verse 6, but he who descended is not counted from them, received tithes of Abraham and blessing that had the promise. And without all contradiction, the least is blessed of the better. And hear me that die receive tithes, but there he received them, of whom it is witness that he liveth. And as I may so say, Levi also who received tithes, paid tithes in Abraham, for he was yet in his lines of his father when Melchizedek met him. If therefore perfection were by the Levi Levitical priesthood, for under it the people received the law, what further need was there that another priest should rise after the order of Melchizedek and not after the order of Aaron? Yes, brothers and sisters. The Levi, the priests and them, they also receive tithes. But our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who is a priest forever, after the order of Melchizedek, he abided forever. As we see even in the sacrament of the laying on of hands, our Lord constantly, continually to perform his work through the office of priesthood. All is done through the grace of God. Everything that is done in the church, our Lord is still working through the sacrament to offer prayer and supplication on behalf of the people towards God make an intercession for us always. And if we understand this, we'll know that our main part is to be obedient and submissive to the will of God. For us to live a peaceable life and a life of contentment, we must obey. For with God there is order. He has set order in the church being knowing that our sinful state yes we are weak in know of feebleness but we have no excuse now because our Lord came and he overcome the wicked one and he made us temple of the Holy Spirit to dwell in us. But if we disobey, the word of God says, the wrath of God come upon the children of disobedience. Because we drop our shield through disobedience. 
if disobedience caused sin to come into the world through our father Adam. He didn't die physically. He died spiritually. And this is what we have to understand. Our Lord came and restored us back to that place, making us temple of God himself. And we see here in this same reading, and they truly were many priests because they would not suffer to continue by reason of death. You see? Through death, they were unable to continue. But our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ continued abiding forever with us through the sacraments. You see, even when Cornelius was praying, the angel of God came and tell him his prayer has been answered. And the angel coming from the presence of God commanded him to go and look for one of the apostles who our Lord sent to teach, to preach, and who he lays hands on to carry on the office of priesthood, the work that he had started. And we must understand also that if Cornelius had disobeyed, would he receive the Holy Spirit falling upon him, even as it did upon the apostles? But he obeyed, and it's the same thing with us. When we obey, the will of God can be perfected in us. This is what we have to pay attention to, nothing else. All others, all others are distractions and excuses. Our Lord is able to deliver us from all hardship, from all enemy, from all the working of Satan, from all the uprising of our enemies hidden and those manifest. Our Lord is able. But the question is, do we believe? Do we believe you know, with our actions and our deeds? Or do we believe with our lips? And this is what we must understand. Our works is the manifestation of our faith. Once God is able to deliver us, let us just obey and let God do his part. Let us leave all our burdens upon him, for he is able to carry them. As we go on, we see here, In verse 27, who needed not daily as those high priests to offer up sacrifices first for his own sins and then for the sins of the people. But for this he did once when he offered up himself. If we understand in the Levitical priesthood, the priest before he go to offer the sacrifice on behalf of the people, he had to offer a sacrifice on his own behalf. And he would offer a bull sacrifice for his sin. And he would offer a sacrifice of a ram for the people's sin. But here our Lord wants he did offer himself on the cross for our salvation. And he continued to work through the office of priesthood to fulfill his will according to the order that he established. 
that he had in his mind for his people. If we understand the importance of the will of God in our life, we will know how to carry about ourselves. In the reading of the Holy Gospel that was taken from St. Luke, chapter 12, it shows us plainly God is the author and the finisher of all things. He is the one who will help us overcome. Reading from the 16th verse. And he spoke a parable unto them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully. And he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do? Because I have no room where to restore my fruits. Let us pay attention to this rich man. The rich man, it's saying here, is grown bare plentifully that year than previous years. If he had five bands, when his grown, when he bears his fruits, he would be able to pull up his five bands. But he was not in control. He was not in control of how many fruits bear. Or what way that away? God is the one who gave the rain as we read in the psalm, the clouds hmm, of the heavens. He's the one in charge of all these things. But this man, according to his own will and his own desire, thought within himself, saying, What shall I do? Because I have no room where to restore my fruits. And he said, This will I do. I will pull down my bands and build greater. And there will I restore all my fruits and my goods. Yes. You see here you now? This is not a bad thing. This is not a bad idea. But was it according to the will of God? Was this this purpose that God made his barn, his land bear plentifully that year? The will of God, if it is not fulfilled in our life, we will suffer loss. All that we do would be in vain. As we see this rich man here, what he did. To set up bigger barns, first of all, he had was to break down the existing ones. So, he suffered loss financially. He suffered the loss most important of his life because he was not rich towards God. And this is the lesson for us, brothers and sisters. Are we fulfilling the will of God in our lives? Because just as this man Wrong bear plentifully, he had a responsibility. We who are called in the church, because we are called to this great honor, we have great responsibility to walk as Christ walked, to talk as Christ talked in humility and patience to be here with one another as brothers and sisters. The will of God must be fulfilled in our life if we do not want to suffer loss. We see here verse 20 But God said unto him Thou fool this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then those 
whose shall those things be which thou hast provided? All this work he did. Who was the one that came and inherited the work? If he was doing the will of God and he had died, he would have been rejoicing with Christ for eternity in the kingdom. But he suffered loss physically. He suffered the loss of his soul also. We who are called, we must understand. The church came here to make us a new creature by renewing our minds according to the will of God that we may be able to serve him in spirit and in truth. Not to come and want to do our own will but the Holy Spirit who God has given us Christ said to his disciples, he will come and he will testify of me and he will teach you all things and lead you into truth and righteousness. We see the law in the Old Testament, it shows plainly that we have no power against this sin that is within us because our fathers was not able to overcome it. But through the grace of the Holy Spirit that is given unto us in this time, we have the power to start to cleanse ourselves from the inward of. Oh, this is what is important. Yes, read the scriptures and all this talking about physical thing, but really is a spiritual thing. Because most of the confusion in our lives is in our own minds, really. And here is where Christ comes to give us that peace and to calm us, to help us make decisions in the knowledge and the wisdom of God, not in the darkness of our own ignorance and lack of understanding. But through obedience, we all will come to one mind to serve God in peace and in love and be able to overcome all the snares and the traps of the enemy. Brothers and sisters, it is so important for us to understand our purpose and our calling, but most of all, to appreciate this honor that God has bestowed upon us by making us members in his kingdom that he came and established for us here on earth. Let us learn to appreciate and to acknowledge the mercy and the kindness of God which he continued to show upon us still in our disobedient state, in our weakness, he established sacraments when we fall, that we may come back unto him, that we may serve him in purity and righteousness. With these few words, I'd like to thank you. Continue to be strong in faith. Continue to submit to the will of God and let his will and his purpose be done in our life. Glory be to God forever and ever. Amen. I thank you. Stand please, benediction. Oh, eternal God, light of life, unquenchable, 
Look up all eyes, serve all the guy and men, and plant in your hearts if you have my name in order that they may bear fruit in their sins, and come them with those who have been given thy body and thy blood, and let thy hand rest upon them that are born in your body, thy people, men and women, aged and children, virgins and monks, widows and orphans, and join us all to the